Hey lovely viewers, this is Shrika and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you've been following my Oz series, you know it's been one heck of a journey from traveling to Australia to reuniting with my dad after 7 years. But now, it's time for a fresh start. And what better way to kick off 2024 than a reset routine? Today, I'm bringing you along for a day in my life here in beautiful Australia where I'm on a mission to reset and be more productive. So let's! So now I am going to get ready for gym. Um, I normally go to the gym in the evening, but I just wanted to try this reset routine where I do everything in the morning because I do feel like it's more productive to get things settled in the morning so that in the evening you have your free time. And normally for me in the evening, I'm going to get really, really, really lazy. There's always an excuse. It's always because I got to do this, I got to do that. So I just figured maybe if I start in the morning, I can do all those things in the evening without feeling guilty and having to skip my gym session. Okay, I'm gonna get ready for that. That's sunscreen on my doodle. I guess my doodle is also UV protected. I would normally ice my face in the morning, but sometimes when I don't do that, I would just do these simple massages to just deep half my face because I don't have those fancy gua sha thingy. gonna go in my bag for gym.
into my gym routine for today. Lately, I've been loving the famous 12-3-30 treadmill workout. It's just 12% incline at 3 miles per hour or 4.8 kilometers per hour for 30 minutes. It's the perfect kickstart to my cardio routine. After that, I like to finish off with a quick treadmill run and then it's on to my strength training. But here's the thing, I've always been a bit hesitant to use the machine section at the gym because, let's be real, I'm a total newbie when it comes to that stuff. Normally, I just stick to using dumbbells in a quiet corner of the gym. But today, I thought, why not just go for it? So brace yourself for some not-so-great form as I dive into these machines for the first time. By the end of it, I think I sort of figured it out. Now that the gym session is done, let's head home because I am starving.
Now it's that time when I gotta tackle those assessments and prep for my upcoming class. Now, full disclosure, I'm a bit of a procrastinator. But today, I'm on a mission to kick that habit to the curb. So I'm diving into my studies, no distractions allowed. It's all about hustling and making things happen. Okay, now that I've conquered my study goals, it's time to face another challenge. Editing my overdue vlog. Yep, I'll admit it. I should have started this vlog ages ago, but life got in the way and procrastination got the best of me. But not today, my friends. I'm multitasking like a champ, editing away while enjoying a quick protein yogurt snack. When Nabil is home, this food is called hot and cold because you're hot and you cold and you listen, you know. <laughs> Nabil is making dessert. Mm. These are hot cross buns. This is the bun. In the packaging. It's hot cross buns filled with biscoff. Mm. Nabil is gonna. Invent something high calorie. Can you not? Can you not? So, my brother Nabil and I decided to seize the day and finally soak up some sun at the beach. We're both huge beach lovers but somehow never find the time to actually go. Can you believe we've got this gorgeous beach right behind our house and we hardly ever take advantage of it? But today, we're changing that. I've missed the feeling of sand between my toes and salty breeze against my face. It's time to make the most of this beautiful day. Good thing we got things settled in the morning like the gym. And now I've got the time for a beach. Dinner. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And sometimes we like to do random dancing. So it's finally the end of the day. Well, the day hasn't ended yet. I do still have to do some other things before I go to bed, which is my night skincare routine, which I always skip, but we're not doing that today. So I'm going to start with wearing this Skintific clay mask. I think this is like one of the few masks that works well with my skin. I hate that my skin is so sensitive. It used to not be that sensitive, but now it's like really, really sensitive. Um, I'm gonna apply that and then we are going to wait for a couple of minutes. It says 15 minutes, but I usually wait out about 20 to 30 minutes. I'm not sure if you're not supposed to do that, but I always do that. So this is one of the reasons why I normally skip my night skincare routine because I have to apply this and then I have to wait for 20 to 30 minutes. I don't have the patience for that. Sometimes when I start the day early and then I am productive as hell, by the end of the night, all I want to do is just sleep. I don't have the energy to wait out for the clay moss to do its work. So that's why, if I'm being honest, I always always find an excuse to skip this there you go oh. i hope you guys didn't hear that i don't know why but lately i don't know why my tummy growls a lot especially at night when i sleep i can hear my tummy growling and it's like I don't know what's up. Is it hungry? Am I not feeding it enough? Well, I'm always hungry, so maybe that explains. But I just don't get it why before this, I don't think my tummy growls at night. Ever since I'm here, it growls every night, every time. I hate that. Okay, so we're done with our... Clay mask. I'm not gonna wait for a half an hour today because I am freaking tired. I think I'm gonna do some reading and then we're gonna rinse it out. I normally would just kill two birds with one stone. I was supposed to wear the clay mask before I watched the movie with them, but I forgot because I was too excited to watch the movie. 
So there goes my 20 minutes. Wasted. Just kidding. I'm going to do some reading. I know this is a bit sad, but I've always liked my face with the clay mask on. I mean, you know how when you have those acne and acne scars and the green thing just kind of like cancelled them out. I know I look like Gamora, but you know, I'm a flawless Gamora. <laughs> Now we're going to continue with the next routine. My simple, I am serious, very simple skincare. I don't use much. Okay, this is literally what I use, okay? A toner and a moisturizer. It depends. It's because I already wear that skin clay mask. If I don't wear that, I will wear this. This is my favorite cream. For me, this is a magic cream because Every time I wear this cream, I do feel like it kind of tones down a little. <laughs> I kind of feel like it tones down a little bit of the redness on my face. So yeah, love the cream. But when I use the Skin to Fit Clay Mask, I don't use this. I don't know why. I just don't feel like mixing them up together. I just feel like this should be like... I just feel like this should be like a separate skincare. Oh my god, they're having like a flu battle outside, but yeah. I'll just be wearing this toner and the moisturizer. And then that's that. And this one will go on my lips. finger yeah that's more like it that's that that's pretty much my night care routine it's not as complicated or as dedicated as the rest of the it girl who has like a 12 or 15 or 20 steps of night care routine I'm not that kind of girl I don't have the time I don't have the money. Well, there you have it, guys. It's a day in my life in Australia where I reset and strive to be more productive in a day. I do hope you guys enjoy tagging along with me today and don't forget to be productive as well. I hope you guys have an amazing start of 2024 and I wish you guys have the best year ahead of you guys. Let me know if there is a video that you guys want me to do. I hope to see you in my next one. 